the actions that appear to have been directed by the Russian government had possibly some effect on, on the election outcome. Well, we don't is, know that. We, we, all we know is that they, they did things. We don't know what, what if any we, effect We it don't had. know what effect it had. Um, but the, is, is that something that should be high on the list of, of worries, even, even if you... Oh, absolutely. Think, I would worry yeah. high about what Russia could do in Europe. We saw what Russia did in Ukraine, a non-NATO country. What is keeping Vladimir Putin tomorrow from doing in Estonia or Latvia, Lithuania what he did in Ukraine? Answer is nothing. What he, one of the things Putin has done at home is he has essentially hollowed out Russian institutions. You can't speak of a Politburo anymore. Khrushchev, at the height of the missile crisis, operated with more constraint than Vladimir Putin operates with today. So that worries me. One of the things I think we ought to do quickly is get over this idea of assuming that Russia is going to be benign. And what I'm hoping is that Mr. Trump, while he opens dialogue with Russia, I'm, I'm all in favor of that. But I think we have got to strengthen NATO. I would do more to help Ukraine uh, in terms of defensive weapons. But more than anything else, I would strengthen NATO so we narrow the gap between our commitments and our capabilities.